Hello, I'm Arish Mathur and in this video we are going to see some of the Android apps working on the Yola Selfish phone. So first let's start with the first app, Android app on this phone is the Android App Store. So, Aptoid App Store, sorry. So it's an app store to download, um, has a lot of Android apps you can imagine of. So this is basically the most loved and third party android app store i have ever used because it has so many stores inside it and you can get almost any app you want of any older version or newer version whatever you want so this is the app um, it works quite well you can see the updates you can see the download manager and the stores you can see i have there is a yola store in the app store which has the apps which compatible with yola fully compatible but uh, it's not all there are many other apps or stores you can install in it so this was the app third app store now there is whatsapp so whatsapp is the similar thing you can open it up and it works the similar way only there is only one back button to go back and you can of course chat with anyone with this whatsapp so it's fully working uh, only drawback is that you do not get notifications uh, mean, I mean to say the notification uh, sound notification or light notification you can only check if it uh, if it, there is any notification by swiping up from the down uh, that too only if the whatsapp application is running in background like uh, let me show you I open the whatsapp and took it to background so if this window is open then only you can see notifications coming on here so that's the drawback of android app app store basically it's an it's an um, um, you can say a virtual android inside the selfish operating system so next up we have the twitter so yeah it runs well um all the uh, android apps supported by this so this was the Twitter. I guess it's taking a lot of time. The Instagram is also working. I'm posting lots of pictures on this. Um, but I have seen one thing that uh, um, that when the phone, the the latest update we took, uh, when the phone is the, uh, connected to Wi-Fi network, then the Android apps do not work well. On they need the basic data connection from the cellular phone uh, similar goes to facebook all latest apps they do work quite well um, on that i have already told you the notifications do not really come up yeah they do crash like this one um i guess you can only use one or maximum two applications at a time but yeah facebook is uh, the latest version of the Facebook is quite unstable. I have seen it crashing a lot. So, yeah, regarding True Color, you can use it only to search manually. It do not shows any notification for the unknown number calling at that time. And similar, all other applications, Skype. Uh, the latest version of Skype do not really work well, but this is some older version. Let me show you which version is it so you can get an idea which version you need to install so you need to go to the settings and about so you can see it's the 5.0.0.51733 this is the version which is working quite well on this phone uh, though the when the you are not calling with the uh, earphones attached to it it uses the main loudspeaker to um, to um, to speak the things the uh, they, they do not use this uh, speaker phone so um, there is lack of com fully compatibility similarly all other apps should, uh, do work well I have already shown you the GTA S San Andreas uh, uh, game on the previous video um, the MX player do work well yeah here maps they do work and they work very well there are many other applications like office mobile OneDrive. i've installed a lot of them really but uh, the real thing is selfish needs its native apps 
for say like uh, there are some apps which depend on the Google Play Store so like this one it shows you the book, book my show application shows you this dialog box like this app needs Google Play services which is missing from your phone and ask you to download the Google Play services but they do not really it do not really works there are ways you can install Google Play Store and Google Play services but that uh, only will make your already installed these applications do not working so take a catch about that like YouTube I have this YouTube version um, the latest one I do not see it working well it uh, will continuously ask you to install Google Play services but this version really works uh, let me show you which version is it I guess it should be in help oh. No, so sorry. Then it must be in settings. Oops. It actually opens up the browser. So here is the version 5.3.32. This version do not really need. Uh, or I guess this one is the modified version as far as I know because I ported it from my previous Nokia X phone to this phone because that version was I guess modified so it do not need the play services so that's a kind of uh, thing with the Android compatibility actually this is due to the um, Android app store uh, alien Dalvik layer which is installed in it using a small app from the Yola store I will show you the application for instance you will need to install that so that you can install the Android apps uh, here it is Android support by Yola so it's a kind of thing I don't know what exactly it is but it, sh uh, it actually makes the um, um yeah, we can say virtual environment inside the selfish os which runs the android apps though they are not fully compatible so this was all in this uh, video it was all about the android support on the yola selfish phones hope you like the video and surely gonna hit the like button and subscribe it do share the videos with your fellow sailors and happy sailing